This is the Marvel Legends series from Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder. We have King Valkyrie. The figure is part of the Korg. Build a figure wave, the Viking Korg. And here's the rest of the assortment. I picked up this figure from Toys R Us in Singapore for about 40 Singapore dollars or 30 bucks. Not too bad. The figure looks really interesting. It looks really good in packaging. Let's take a closer look at the details of this figure. Fantastic artwork, by the way, of King of Valkyrie on the packaging. And the figure comes with the head and the weapon of Viking Korg. You don't really need that. I'm not actually interested in the builder figure, but she does come with Dragon Fan. Let me take this sword out. It is a redecoed, uh, repainted version of the Dragon Fang we saw with the previously released uh, Valkyrie figure. This one's really nice. It has this metallic teal blue, bluish paint on the blade. Some gray on the hilt, very nice white paint on the handle. Really nice. And finally, we have the figure. Oh, look at that. Very good likeness to Tessa Thompson's uh, face with this wonderful head sculpt. Cape is back here, nicely sculpted hair. And early on, you can see, even without removing the packaging, from the packaging, the figure does have these pinless double hinge joints uh, for the elbows as well as pinless knee joints which is really nice very very exciting sculpting and those pinless joints really really sold me on this figure oh that is gorgeous beautifully sculpted head sculpt and the hair i mean i love the fact that they they recess the hair a little bit so it does not interfere with a lot of the neck articulation. The neck is on a double ball joint. There's a ball joint up here and a ball joint down there. Lots of movement, great emotive poses you can do with that head sculpt. Shoulders, no butterfly joints though, uh, but they go in and out, forward and backward, bicep swivel, and here are those beautiful pinless Double hinged elbows, really nice. The wrists, they swivel, they go up and down for the right arm. Uh, the left hand goes in and out. You got this really nice ball jointed upper torso. Is there a waist swivel? No. My copy, it's a little loose than I would have preferred, um, but you can move the figure this way, forward and backward, rotate like this. There is a molded in sort of a, it's not a waist cape, but a waist piece right here. I think it's a separate piece, but it's stuck on to the lower torso. The hips are in ball joints, but this is as far as they go. Forward and backward. There's a thigh swivel. Wonderful high gloss black plastic uh, that they use for the thighs, the hips, and the legs to really uh, give you that, I guess, patent leather um, finish to, yeah, I think that's, uh, that depicts that sort of like shiny patent leather fabric that Valtteri uses for her pants. Very nice. And once again, we have the Avenger boot. <laughs> really getting tired of these Avenger boots. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just missing some buckles here. I mean, to complete that Avenger look, I'm glad they didn't put the buckles. I mean, you know. It's okay. And then she has, is the, no, the knife is, she has another knife right here, but it's, it's molded in. Uh, unfortunately, it's not removable. It's not a separate accessory. So double jointed pinless knee joints. Very cool. Thigh swivel. The ankles, they go, I guess they go up and down and they have the rocker tilt. So great quality of plastic. Fantastic paint job. Areas that I find remarkable uh, in terms of paint apps and detail is really her uniform. Her chest, her torso, that waist piece, 
that's what really attracted me to this figure in terms of the paint apps and the details. Just an absolutely stellar, absolutely stunning, beautiful mold uh, of the King Valkyrie figure. I'm loving it. The head sculpt is fantastic. What is there not to love about this figure? So the cape is done in this really nice navy blue or light blue material fabric. No shading on it. That's fine. Uh, soft PVC material. I love the fact that it's already done in a flowing. It's as though it were flowing or she was walking and it would be swish, swishing or swaying that way. Overall, it is a fantastic looking figure. Let me see if I can make her hold a dragon fang. Oh man, I cannot wait for the movie to see her in action. For some size comparisons, here is King Valkyrie with a couple of MCU female figures I still have in my collection. We've got Peggy and Wanda. I think Hasbro got the scale right. I honestly do so. I think she's she would be a little bit taller than Wanda, but a little bit shorter than Peggy. And so some final thoughts on this new Marvel Legends King Valkyrie figure from Thor Love and Thunder. I was actually blown away by this figure. It was a sort of like a sleeper figure in the wave. Never really thought much about this figure, wasn't on my list. I was actually surprised at how well it turned out. Really glad I picked it up. So far, I'm not regretting this purchase. It is an absolutely well-sculpted figure with all those pinless uh, joints for the knees and the elbows. A beautifully sculpted uh, Tessa Thompson likeness uh, for the head sculpt. Uh, I love the details from the cape, the boots, the uniform, the high gloss plastic, the black plastic that they used uh, for her legs to simulate that patent leather material she uses on her uniform. We got dragon fang that's painted, repainted nicely. Uh, and despite having a lot of white paint apps, Hasbro has learned uh, to control issues on, on quality control and paint apps and all that, beautifully painted. I mean, this is as good as it gets. The paint apps will have some minuscule, very minor, small imperfections. Uh, but overall, given the track record of Hasbro with white paint apps on black plastic, this is pretty darn good. And I'm just so satisfied with this figure. One of those purchases that you went off, did on a whim, and uh, just really glad I did so. So if you're having second thoughts about this figure, not really feeling it based on the promo pictures that you've seen online, my suggestion is go check out the figure if you see it on retail, pick it up. If you are a big fan of the MCU, particularly the characters in Thor, you have got to pick up this figure. It is an absolutely wonderful, uh, one of the best uh, MCU figures, at least uh, for the Thor characters that we've seen from Hasbro. The figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. Absolutely blown away. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new King Valkyrie figure. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.